we have tanks and Fortnite creatives, and I made a whole map based around them. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it from start to finish. Okay, so I wanna make a really fun map with tanks. I feel like in order for this to be actually fun, it can't be a single player map. I mean, you can make some fun single player maps, I think, with tanks, but I want like a fun multiplayer battle royale. So I'm thinking I want to have like a big map with futuristic buildings that have like slight slopes like this so that the tanks can like crawl up the buildings and be at like crazy angles, but then they can still like fire and like fight. I think that would be really fun. But I don't just want to have buildings. I want to have like things like air vents that like turn on and make you blast up in the air or elements where it like speeds you up. I don't know, just things like that where it'd be more dynamic than just driving around and shooting your gun. So before we build our city, let's come up with a few things that will interact with the tanks. So let's start with a speed boost. So in order to have a speed boost, this is gonna need to be invisible like that. So let's make the knockup force very high. Let's see how that works. So if you drive into it, it would boost you pretty fast. What happens though if I like hit it at an angle like this? Boom. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Okay, then let's grab a VFX creator. And I made this little green ring animation here to indicate the speed boost. So in game, you'll just see those little green things go like that, but then you'll get a boost when you hit it. Oh yeah, guys, I like that a lot. I think that's really cool and will add a lot to this map. Okay, I also want a mechanic where people can jump out of their tanks for like just long enough to repair their tires like this. Boom, okay, it repairs. Or even jump out and just add some, you know, blowtorch effect to it. But it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So I think I want to give them like a max of five seconds. All right, so I've damaged my tank here and I'm going to jump out. I'm going to repair it as quickly as I can, hopefully before the time limit. Oh, yes. Aha, then it assigned me back into the tank. Now, the only problem is I'm worried about people like just trying to run out and like get away from their tank. Like maybe it's uh, not fast enough, but I guess people are vulnerable. If they die, then their tank blows up. Hey, we'll just leave it. With that in mind, I'm gonna have to make sure an elimination manager is set up that triggers when my player dies and destroys the vehicle. Okay, let's see if this works here. I'm gonna kill myself and okay, well, it disappeared. It didn't really like blow up. Maybe it's just because it was on the spawner or something. I don't know, let's try it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna die before it reassigns me and it just makes it disappear. Well, that's annoying. I want it to like blow up. Urgh. Okay, I think it'd also be fun to have some guards in the map. Just guards that are on nobody's team, but they're just kind of annoying and, you know, shooting you around, but you can kill them yourself just to get them out of the way. I think it would add a little bit more dynamics to it. They would definitely have some guards. Do they see me while I'm in the tank? Like if I'm driving around, oh yeah, they definitely see me and I can definitely kill them. <laughs> Die, God, die. Although they're doing a lot of damage to my tank. So I might have to rethink what I'm uh, like assigning them here. Okay, I reduce it to one guard. And let's see if he can even see me. He does see me. Okay, yeah, he's doing some damage now, but it's not like insane. The other guys were like destroying my tank in like seconds. So I think this will be fine. Okay, so we got speed boost. We got guards. We got a repair mechanic. I think now let's start building some stuff. Okay, first things first, I want to build like a little garage area. That each of the teams or the tanks will start. It's got to be big enough for the tanks here. Okay, that's plenty big. I actually think I might want a little bit bigger just so I can decorate the interior and make it look cool. I don't want this to be too complex inside because I want to be able to copy this easily for eight different locations. There's going to be eight tanks on this map. This is the garage I built for each tank. Interior is pretty basic, just some scaffolding, a little symbol on the back. But what's really cool is that you can't get out of this garage at all. You can try and get out. But once you get in the tank, the doors open and you can drive out into the map. Thought that would be a cool way to start. This mechanic's super easy. I just have a prop mover that's attached to the doors, and it starts when receiving from channel four. And when the player enters the vehicle, it transmits on channel four. So that's really the whole mechanic there. And then I build out these walls to the side so that these could disappear into it. If I had it going up, right, it would just like poke out the top. I mean, I guess I could build something up above as well, but I kind of like them opening. It just felt a little bit more epic. Okay, now it's time to actually like build this map. I'm gonna start by just figuring out how big I actually want this to be. I figure it's gotta be pretty big because we're talking about like eight tanks here. But I also don't want it too big because if there's only like two tanks playing, they've got to be able to like see each other at least. All right, I think that's probably a big enough area. I mean, on the map, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. Let's uh move one of our garages over and see what it looks like. Hey, okay, yeah, I mean, I think that's all right there. Okay, I'm gonna copy this on every like corner. Really just get my like entrance locations in and then I can just kind of fill in the gaps, at least on like the outer wall. I don't want tanks getting out of this area. Uh-oh, for some reason this didn't copy, but that's okay, I can just take this because I put an anchor down. See that anchor is the wood piece. It's easy to go back and just 
paste this on even though I missed it in my copy. Woo! I'm glad I did the anchor point. Saved me a lot of hassle of going back and deleting these old ones and then replacing it down. A little bit of a pro builder tip here. Always use your anchor points when you're copying and pasting. Now I just got to do this outer wall and I'm, once again I'm using the wood piece here. Do this instead of like going like this and like copying it over and it's just taking forever. I can just copy this like that and then I'm just slightly overlapping them and so there's gonna be a bit of Z fighting on the top but I don't really care if anyone sees that. All right cool we've got this really awesome little arena now. Right, so I've got cool entrances now for each of the tanks. Now I gotta build the city in the middle. Right, I started building with the blimp pieces and man they are really cool. When you stand them up like that it looks like a really cool dome shaped building. So they just kind of worked perfect. And what's really cool is that the tank can drive on them so it can go up and over it and you can sit up here on your perch and you can look for other tanks to shoot at or you can come down here into the pit jump out of your uh, tank and repair it or whatever the good hiding spot so it's great for this corner now i'm just gonna copy it and make sure i put it in every single corner oh man guys the fortress prop gallery is perfect for this i've started just kind of placing them around and check this out i mean it's like this really cool metal building in the middle of the map that just fits the aesthetic awesome and the tanks can drive on it like on all of the angles it even has like angles you can go around on i mean it's just like perfect i'm gonna have to fill in some gaps here because if you fall on this it's kind of difficult to get out and the nice thing about being up high is it's not so high but you can't really like shoot downwards so if you're up here you're gonna have to come up and then go fight someone oh this is cool okay so i put a little bit more work into my map here you see i threw in some aesthetic pieces i put in a floor i added these guard towers i don't know how effective they'll be and i put a few of these speed boosts in but i ran into a problem when i was testing i was testing my map out here and when i shoot at an air vent it deflects the bullet of the tank like i have to get around this in order to shoot the tank Okay, what is that all about? So I decided to just keep a few of these because I like the mechanic, but it's going to affect the gameplay a lot. Okay, now I got to do something about this outside area. I mean, it's just an eyesore. I think it might be cool to have some swimmable water out here. When people enter it, I'm going to make sure they die. Okay, I think that's looking pretty cool with the water around it. Now I just need to make sure the mechanics work and test it out. Now let me show you one mechanic I came up with. I needed to kill people when they jumped into the water, and I also need to kill the player when the tank blows up because I was worried someone's tank would blow up and then they wouldn't die. So I created a little zone up here. And when the player enters the water, it transmits on the channel that then teleports people to this zone. Also, when the tank blows up, that same channel is signaled, which then teleports them to this zone as well. The nice thing about this mechanic is that it works instantly. So when I jump in this, it eliminates my guy. So there's no weird animation of people getting teleported here and then dying. It just kills them instantly. So I grabbed some folks and we tested this map and there was quite a few bugs and this map is not perfect by any means but it's fun so you should jump in now with your friends and see who can dominate with the tanks